I've got to get to the State of the Union because um, a lot of things going on in this country right now. And uh, they all affect you. I mean, um, it, it's dicey here. It's not like we're in a, a zone of competence. <laughs> we're, we're not. And that is the subject of this evening's Talking Points memo. So Americans are down, as they should be, on our elected leadership on the federal level. Some states are run okay. New York is absolute chaos, absolutely across the board, insane where I am right now. But some states are pretty well run. But federally, the folks have had it. So I'm going to give you a bunch of polls. And I'm not doing the Trump DeSantis polling stuff or any of that because it's not relevant right now. It will be, I would say, in April or May. Okay, but now it's just too murky. But this, these polls um, are, I'm not going to say they're accurate because I don't trust polling in general, but they are reflective of what I believe is going on in this country. So the first one is Washington Post, ABC News, Democrat 26, Republican 25, Independent 40. Okay, that's fair. First question, do you approve or disapprove of the way Joe Biden's handling his job? Approve 42, disapprove 53. That's a bad number. How would you feel if Biden is re-elected as president in 24? Positive 36, negative 62. That's a horrendous number right there. How would you feel um, if Trump is elected for another term in 24? 43 positive, 56 negative. Not a good number, but not nearly as bad as Biden. Isn't that interesting? And finally, if the 2024 presidential election were being held today and the candidates were Trump and Biden, for whom would you vote? Now, I just contradicted myself, um, and I'm going to give you this number because it's just a curiosity, but don't take this literally, not yet, okay? Trump 48, Biden 44. You know, it's too fluid right now, particularly on the Trump side. Biden... Obviously, in this ABC poll, people know he's not doing a good job. All right, let's zip over to the Associates Press poll. Democrat 43, Republican 39, Independent 19. First question, would you like to see Joe Biden run for president in 24 or not? Yes, 22 percent, no, 78. Now, that is for the Associated Press with uh, mostly Democrats over Republicans being asked, that's a crazy number for Biden. Um, and the third poll, Rasmussen, Democrat 35, Republican 33, Independent 32, fair. Should President Biden run for re-election in 24? Yes, 32, no, 56. If Biden does run for re-election, should Kamala Harris be the VP? Yes, 39, no, 48. A better number for Harris than for Biden. So the day before the State of the Union, the folks, the voters, think Biden's doing a bad job. Now, you wouldn't know that by listening to the corporate media, would you? Inflation at its highest level in 40 years. Interest rates skyrocketing. We all know that. Market experts like Jamie Dimon, CEO of J.P. Morgan, not only predict a recession, but are using scary terms like economic hurricane and unprecedented. So you need to call the only precious metal dealer I trust, American Hartford Gold. They will show you how to protect your savings and retirement accounts by diversifying your portfolio with physical gold and silver. Please call them today and they will have physical gold and silver delivered right to your door or put inside your IRA or 401k. They have thousands of satisfied customers of the highest rated firm in the country with an A plus rating from the Better Business Bureau. Tell them Bill O'Reilly sent you and they'll give you up to $2,500 of free silver on your first order. Please call 866-501-5201. 866-501-5201 or text BILL to 65532. Again, 866-501-5201 or text BILL to 65532.
3-2. Thank you for watching the No Spin News. To watch the full episode anytime on BillOReilly.com, please sign up to become a premium or concierge member. Visit BillOReilly.com to sign up and start watching today.